When it comes to uncertain financial times, United Bank has a very unique perspective. Seasons may change, but United Bank is always a constant, providing you safety, security, and sound decision making. That's the reason we've been in business since 1839. Safe, sound, secure. It's the hallmark of our success. United Bank, at your service. Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship partner for comprehensive physical therapy and sports rehabilitation services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy, multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Coach Bob Huggins here at your local Little General store. As I travel this great state, it's nice to know that almost anywhere I go, there's a local Little General nearby. So the next time you're on the road, look for the Little General sign and tell them Hugs sent you. When your special day requires a dash of loyalty, a pinch of magic, a splash of love, and a heaping cup of fun, there's only one place that can provide all the warm hugs and more, Putnam Princess Parties. Whether you want to host an intimate party in our very own fairy garden room, or have crafts and games brought to your front doorstep, our real life fairy tale characters are there because every little one deserves a dream come true. At Kingmaker Marketing, there's one key phrase we hear all the time. I know what my business needs, I just don't have time to do it. We're a small business too, so we get it. Whether your business is big or small, we want to work with you to make it a success. So if you need web and graphic design, social media and videography, or any other creative marketing or guidance as to what your next step should be on the road to success, we can give you the royal touch. Taze Valley Christian School. Tays Valley Christian School is all about relationships with Jesus and with one another. Preparing students to become leaders in influencing their world for Christ. Excellence in a vibrant Christian community. Apply today. Tays Valley Christian School. TVCS is accredited by ACSI North Central and the West Virginia Department of Education. Big time high school basketball talent here on display in the Canal Valley as the Huntington Prep Irish have made their way up I-64 and they are taking on the Lions of Taze Valley Christian Prep. Good evening and welcome to Video Productions and the War of I-64 presented by United Bank. My name is Jack Withrow. Thank you for joining us tonight for this showdown of uh, the two prep teams and the Irish of Huntington Prep coming into tonight, 21 and nine on the season. Their head coach is Arkell Bruce in his sixth season at the helm of the Irish. Huntington Prep averaging just over 76 points a contest and giving up 61 points to their opponents. And they are high flying. They've got a ton of talent, a lot of senior talent on this team, including Isaiah Cottrell, who has committed to WV, WVU. He is out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Jamin Brakefield, the 6'8 senior forward, is a Duke commit. And then you've got a Michigan State commit, the point guard for Huntington Prep, A.J. Hogard, a 6'4 senior. And then the Baylor commit, the 7'1 senior center, Zach Loveday. Loveday hails from Gallipolis, Ohio. So uh, plenty of talent on this Huntington Prep team. They will face a much younger team in Taze Valley Christian Prep, but a very talented team in the Lions as well. Taze Valley Christian Prep comes in tonight 19 and eight on the season. Their head coach is fifth year head coach, Ryan Airwood. Airwood spent a year underneath Arkell Bruce down at Huntington Prep. Both of those gentlemen were assistant coaches at Huntington Prep under Rob Fulford, and then Bruce took over, and then Ryan Airwood made his way to Taze Valley, started that program there, and Scott Depot, and he is in his fifth season at the helm of the Lions. Picked up his 100th win at Taze Valley a couple weekends ago in a victory over 
Liberty Heights. That was a 70-64 victory, which avenged a loss earlier to Liberty Heights. Both of these teams come in tonight on a five-game winning streak. And taking a look at Taze Valley again, their head coach, Ryan Airwood, they're averaging 65 points a contest, giving up 54 to their opponents. And they've got some major talent as well. Davey Jones, the 6'6 junior wing player out of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, averages 25 points a contest. And then you've got sophomore point guard, 6'2", 190 pound Josiah Davis from Kitchener, Ontario. He come in, comes in tonight averaging 12 points a contest. And then the 6'9 sophomore forward, Jerome Bea, with a 7'3 wingspan. He hails from the city of Kinshasa out of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Congo. We'll take a break and we'll return with the start of tonight's game. You're watching The War of I-64 presented by United Bank. When it comes to uncertain financial times, United Bank has a very unique perspective. Seasons may change, but United Bank is always a constant, providing you safety, security, and sound decision making. That's the reason we've been in business since 1839. Safe, sound, secure. It's the hallmark of our success. United Bank, at your service. Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship partner for comprehensive physical therapy and sports rehabilitation services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy, multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Coach Bob Huggins here at your local Little General store. As I travel this great state, it's nice to know that almost anywhere I go, there's a local Little General nearby. So the next time you're on the road, look for the Little General sign and tell them Hugs sent you. When your special day requires a dash of loyalty, a pinch of magic, a splash of love, and a heaping cup of fun, there's only one place that can provide all the warm hugs and more, Putnam Princess Parties. Whether you want to host an intimate party in our very own fairy garden room, or have crafts and games brought to your front doorstep, our real life fairy tale characters are there because every little one deserves a dream come true. At Kingmaker Marketing, there's one key phrase we hear all the time. I know what my business needs, I just don't have time to do it. We're a small business too, so we get it. Whether your business is big or small, we want to work with you to make it a success. So if you need web and graphic design, social media and videography, or any other creative marketing or guidance as to what your next step should be on the road to success, we can give you the royal touch. Welcome back inside the Walker Convocation Center here on the campus of West Virginia State University for tonight's the War of I-64 presented by United Bank as the Irish of Huntington Prep coming in at 21-9 on the season. Is set to take on the Lions of Taze Valley Christian Prep. Looking at the starting lineup for Huntington Prep, a 6'10 senior forward from Las Vegas, Nevada, Isaiah Cottrell. A 6'8 senior forward from Jackson, Mississippi, Jamin Brakefield. A 6'5 junior guard, Shane Dezone gets the start tonight for the Irish. A.J. Hogard, a 6'4 senior guard from Coatesville, Pennsylvania, and rounding out the starting lineup for the Irish of Huntington Prep. The 6'11 junior forward from the Senegal, Sini Ndaye. Ndaye with an offer from W, and again, Cottrell has committed to W as well. Breakfield will be headed to Duke. And Hogard to Michigan State, and then Zach Loveday, the seven foot one senior center from Gallipolis, Ohio, is committed to Baylor. The starting lineup for Taze Valley tonight a 6'4 junior guard from Taipei, Taiwan, number two, Leo Lin, and a 6'1 junior guard from Bristol, Tennessee, Brandon Brown. The point guard, Josiah Davis, a 6'2, 190 pound sophomore. 
from Kitchener, Ontario, Davy Jones, a 6'6 junior wing from Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic. And rounding out the starting lineup for Taze Valley out of Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 6'9 sophomore forward Jerome Bea. Three officials this evening is Kent Wilkinson, Steve Robinson, and Kurt McCown. Taze Valley in the gray uniforms. They'll be the home team tonight. And Huntington Prep in those fluorescent yellow uniforms. It says Huntington Prep on the chest. And it'll be Bea in, in Dia to jump, jump it up and controlled by Josiah Davis. We are underway here in the Walker Convocation Center on the campus of West Virginia State University. Oh, my goodness. And there you go. Jerome Baia sends it home with a follow-up flush. And the 6'9 forward out of Kinshasa over in the Congo with that 7'3 wingspan wakes everybody up here inside West Virginia State University. Up and in is good by Cottrell. We're all tied up. Two to two. Early here, first quarter, four eight-minute quarters tonight. As Jones, he'll flip it up with the left hand. And Davy Jones into the scoring column for the Lions. The lead back to Taze Valley. Hogard out top. And a man-to-man -man defense for the Lions. Great crowd on hand here at West Virginia State as they lob it down into Ndiaye. And now a three from the wing. That one way too strong. And rebound out of bounds over to Taze Valley. Take a look at this replay here. And way to open it up here. Baia got position inside a break field and flushed it back for the first points of the evening. Four to two, Taze Valley. Straight away three off the back of the iron. No good. Long rebound. Baia will... Now a wrestling match, and we've got a held ball possession error over to Huntington Prep. As fans are continuing to foul in to the Walker Convocation Center, a beautiful facility here on the campus of West Virginia State University. Man-to-man -man defense once again for the Lions. They feed it down into Cottrell. He'll flip it over to Hogar, but we've got a whistle and a travel on A.J. Hogar. That's the first turnover on the Irish of Huntington Prep. Huntington Prep coming in tonight, 21-9 on the season. Head coach Arkel Bruce, Pays Valley at 19-8 with their head coach Ryan Arrowood. Both of those were assistant coaches under Rob Fulford at Huntington Prep, and a layup there is good. Strong move by the 6 2 sophomore, Josiah Davis. 6 to 2, Taze Valley on top of Huntington Prep. As you'll see, Hunt, or Taze Valley, Hogard goes down inside. We've got a whistle and another travel on A.J. Hogard. That's his second turnover. 5.56 to go. First quarter action here inside the Walker Convocation Center. They have named this the War of I-64. Davy Jones step back long two, good. From the right wing, he's got four points. And the advantage stays Valley eight to two. Ogard out top between the circles. Gives it over to Brakefield. He'll pull the trigger on a long three off the back of the iron. No good. Scramble for the ball. And rebound to Huntington Prep. A three from the corner. That one no good. And a put back dunk by Ndaye. The Zoni's three no good. But Ndaye there to put it back in. Eight to four. Chase Valley. And now the ball is stripped from behind by Hogard. He'll go down inside floater with the right hand. No good. And a scramble out of bounds stays with Huntington Prep. As a senior Hogard took it right away from the sophomore, Josiah Davis in the corner. Breakfield's three, no good. And rebound, nice box out by Brandon Brown. Brandon Brown from Bristol, Tennessee. A junior. Got looks from several Division II schools. 
as Davy Jones powers his way in, no good. Long rebound and tracked down. And now we've got a whistle. And they're going to get the foul on Huntington Preps, A.J. Hogard. That's his first team foul. Number one on the Irish. Man-to-man -man defense for the Irish. Davis gets it stripped. That's his second turnover. Quickly, here come the Irish down the other side. Breakfield into them. And now he loses it and gathered up by Leo Lynn. Jones, pump fake. Gets it over into the corner. Lynn's three. Off the mark. Rebound cleared out by Huntington Prep. We approach the midway point here. First quarter. Four-point advantage for Taze Valley. Cottrell, baseline jumper is good. Isaiah Cottrell with four points. Landry Pilata, the 6'7 junior, set to check in, and now we got a whistle and a foul on Huntington Prep, a reach-in foul. Let's see who they get this on. And that one's on A.J. Hogarth. That is his second. As Landry Pilata checks in. Pilata, a 6'8 junior wing player from Kinshasa over in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Brown triggers it in here near side. Now we've got a technical on Hogarth, and that's going to be his third. As Kent Wilkinson, the official, assesses the technical. With 3.44 to go here in the first quarter, A.J. Hogarth picks up his third personal as Davy Jones knocks down the first. Jones, a 60% free throw shooter, and he makes both of those. Six points for Davy Jones coming into tonight, averaging 25 points a contest. Last time out, he went for 40. Now Jones with it. Down in that short corner, goes down inside, flips it up with the left hand. Nice little nifty move there for Jones. Give him eight points. And a six-point advantage for Taze Valley. 3.25 to go, opening quarter. Breakfield gives it over to Cottrell. Now hands it back. Out between the circles, Jones will pick him up. Breakfield feeds it down into Cottrell. Nice job. And a flush for Isaiah Cottrell. That was a good look there from Breakfield. We approach three minutes, and now we've got an offensive foul. And a moving screen there. They'll get that one on Taze Valley's Landry Pilata. His first team foul, number one. Into the lineup for Huntington Prep. The seven foot one senior center, Zach Loveday. Loveday from Gallopolis, Ohio, is committed to play basketball down at Baylor. Under three to go, opening period, break field out top. Man-to-man -to -man defense for Taze Valley, almost lost it there, gives it over to Cottrell. Isaiah Cottrell, he'll pull up 16-footer straight away, no good, tipped around and controlled by Taze Valley. Nice hustle by Josiah Davis. Brown into the front court. Feeds it into the corner to Davis. Work it down inside, but ball's tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Taze Valley with 2.30 to go. Davey Jones. And a two-hand dunk once again by Jerome Bea. And the assist from Jones that time as the defense came up on Jones, left Bea wide open for the two-hand dunk. 14-8, Taze Valley. Cottrell out top, looking for Loveday down in that low post, going against a much smaller, the 6'2", Josiah Davis. And now a whistle and an offensive foul on Loveday. That's his first team foul, number four. 
2.02 to go. First quarter action here inside the Walker Convocation Center. Thank you for joining us right here on Video Productions. Tonight's the war of I-64. Jones in the short corner. Started by Brakefield. Spin move, loses it, gets it back, gives it over to Leo Lynn. Now the feed down inside, pump fake, up and in by Josiah Davis. Nice head fake there by Davis, got the defender up in the air and then finish it, 16-8, Taze Valley. Brakefield, spin move, goes down inside and a whistle. And they count the basket, wow. And the foul on Jerome Bea. That's his first, team foul number two, count the basket. Jamin Brakefield. At the line, does complete the three-point play? Does not. Rebound pulled out of the air by Brandon Brown. 123 to go. First quarter. Davis out top, feeds it over. Long three by Davy Jones. Knocks it down from distance. Shot that one from over in South Charleston. 19 to 10, Tays Valley. Makai Johnson into the lineup for t- uh, Huntington Prep. Ball swiped away and stolen by Leo Lynn. Fourth turnover on Huntington Prep. Under a minute to go here, first quarter. Brandon Brown walks it into the front court. Now he'll pull up left elbow. Good for Brandon Brown. 21 10. Tays Valley, and we've got a timeout called by head coach Arkell Bruce of Huntington Prep. We'll take a 30 second timeout as well. You're watching The War of I 64, presented by United Bank. Get more bank for your business with United Bank. Whether you'd like to start a business, purchase commercial real estate, or equipment, United Bank can help. We support business development throughout our great state, making business and consumer loans and fueling opportunities. Small business owners' dreams come true and larger corporations grow. What can we do for your business? United Bank, West Virginia's bank. Proud to be united with the Mountaineers. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. 38 ticks to go here in the first quarter. 21-10, Tays Valley leading Huntington Prep. Into the corner, Brakefield, he'll line up a three and knock it down for Jamin Brakefield. He's got five points. The Duke commit. 17 seconds to go. Josiah Davis out top. Closely guarded by Dezone. And now a steal. And the dunk missed on this end. Rebounded by Huntington Prep. Three at the buzzer, off the back of the air, no good. We come to the end of the first quarter here inside the Walker Convocation Center. Tay Valley leading Huntington Prep 21-13. You're watching the War of I-64 presented by United Bank. Special day requires a dash of loyalty, a pinch of magic, a splash of love, and a heaping cup of fun, there's only one place that can provide all the warm hugs and more, Putnam Princess Parties. Whether you want to host an intimate party in our very own fairy garden room, or have crafts and games brought to your front doorstep, our real life fairy tale characters are there because every little one deserves a dream come true. War of I-64 presented by United Bank as Tays Valley takes the early lead, 21-13 after one. Here inside the Walker Convocation Center on the campus of West Virginia State University. Tays Valley is led by 6'6 junior wing Davy Jones with 11 points. He connected from distance one time. Four points from Josiah Davis and Jerome Bea. Two points from Brandon Brown for Huntington Prep. Isaiah Cottrell with six points, Jamin Brakefield with five, and Senny Ndaye with two points. It'll be Taste Valley ball to start things out, and they'll try to pressure right off 
to bat here. Brandon Brown into the front court, works it down inside, feeds it down in the low post. And now we've got a whistle and a travel on Landry Pallotta. As Jerome Bayo checks back in for the Lions. Davey Jones with 11 points in that first quarter for Huntington Prep. A.J. Hogard picks up three personal fouls down into that low post. They kick it. Breakfield's three from the corner, too strong, and tipped right into the hands of Dazzoni. Twenty-one, fifteen, Chase Valley, and now we got a reach-in foul on Dazzoni. That's his first team foul, number five. Seven twenty-seven to go, second quarter. Davy Jones on the far side. Kicks it here near side. Josiah Davis into the corner for Leo Lynn. Bounce pass down inside to paint, and they kick it back out. Swing it over to Jones. He'll force a shot up. No good. Rebound cleared out by Breakfield. Quickly into the corner. Dazzoni. Back out to Breakfield. He'll reset the offense. And now a whistle away from the play. And a foul on Chase Valley. They'll get Josiah Davis. That's his first team foul number three on Chase Valley. They get it in to Cottrell, feeds it to Johnson. Floater up with the right hand, no good. Tipped out to Cottrell. He'll force one up with the right hand. That one no good. Knocked out of bounds. Stays with Huntington Prep. Zoni will trigger it in underneath the Huntington Prep basket and floats it back out to Breakfield. Ball slapped away by Bayeb, but regained. Mazzoni down inside the paint, feeds it over to Cottrell. He'll force one up off the front of the iron, out of bounds, and again, it'll stay with Huntington Prep. Checking in the lineup for Chase Valley. Will be 6'5 junior guard out of Burlington, Ontario, Luke DeGanis. DeGanis joined the Lions program over the Christmas holiday. The break, Landry Plata checking back into the lineup. Bayo will take a seat over on the bench. And now, an errant pass. Here comes DeGanis. He'll go down inside left hand, no good. Rebound by DeZoni. Feeds it out to Breakfield, over to Johnson. He'll pull the trigger from the right wing, no good. Rebound once again, pulled out of there by Huntington Prep. They keep the possession alive, Johnson. Straight away three by Cottrell and a whistle. Foul away from the play, and they'll get that one against Taze Valley's Luke DeGanis. That's his first, team foul number four. Sini and Daye will check in. Break field out top, gives it over to Cottrell. Now they feed it down inside, ball is tipped away, and they say it was off of Huntington Prep. Turnover over to Taze Valley Christian. 6.04 to go here, first half. Inside the Walker Convocation Center, the War of I-64, Taze Valley Christian Prep out of Scott Depot, West Virginia. Taking on Huntington Prep out of Huntington, West Virginia. Davey Jones, they leave him alone, and that went off the back of the iron, no good. Quick run out, here comes Cottrell, and he'll lay it up with ease on the other end. He's got eight points. Four-point advantage now for Taze Valley. Brown, that three, no good. And rebound down to Huntington Prep once again. Here comes the break field into the front court. He'll whip it down inside, and a dunk by Isaiah Cottrell. Gives him ten points. And Taze Valley's lead has been cut down to two. Davy Jones. 
Down inside, turnaround, jump shot, no good. Cleared out by Brakefield. I'm sorry, that's Cottrell. Gives it over to Brakefield with 4.50 to go. Second quarter ball slapped away by Jones. Here comes Jones. He'll go down inside and lay it up and in for Davey Jones. Gives him 13 points and timeout called. On the floor, 30-second timeout. We'll take a 30-second as well. 4.42 to go. Jays Valley leading Huntington Prep 23-19. Therapy is a Tri-States Championship partner for comprehensive physical therapy and sports rehabilitation services. We're now the trusted corporate championship partner for sports rehab at the WVSSAC. Generations Physical Therapy. Multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Twenty-three nineteen, Tays Valley leading Huntington Prep. 442 to go here in the second quarter. Thanks for joining us right here on video productions for the War of I-64 presented by United Bank. Thirty-second timeout called by head coach of Taze Valley Christian Ryan Arrowood. Again, Arrowood picking up his his 100th win as the head coach of Taze Valley Christian a couple weekends ago. Victory over Liberty Heights. The trail, right elbow, feeds it down into Brakefield. He'll go to work down inside, layup is good by Jamin Brakefield. Gives him seven points. Davis near side, hands it off. Davy Jones, spin move in the paint, layup with the left hand, rolls off the iron, no good. And now a steal by Davis. Josiah Davis out of Kitchener, Ontario. Feeds it down into Bea. They'll double team him. Tries to work his way out. Kicks it out to Brown. Now they flip it into the corner. The gain is three. In and out, no good. Rebound. Tipped out of bounds. Over to Huntington Prep. Under four to go. Second quarter. Two-point advantage for Taze Valley. Cottrell. And he'll go down inside. His dunk no good, but a whistle and a foul. They'll get this one on Bea. That's his second. And team foul number five on Tays Valley. Isaiah Cottrell will go to the line to shoot two. Ten points so far on the evening for Isaiah Cottrell. as he misses the first there. Look at this replay. And say got him foul on Jerome Bea. Bea with a seven foot three wingspan. The trail second shot, he rattles that one home. One of two, he's got 11 points. One point lead for Taze Valley, 340 to go second quarter. A lot of out top. Brown, ball screen three off the back of the iron and corralled by DeGanis. Keep the possession to Chase Valley. Davy Jones, that ball knocked away. It'll stay with Chase Valley. Defense once again, screen on the left side. Jones goes down inside and he is fouled. As he goes to the basket, he'll go to the line to shoot two. We get the foul on Indaya, that's his first. Two shots coming up for Davy Jones, two of two so far. They make it three of three from the foul line for Jones. Told that there is at least six Division I coaching staffs here tonight as Jones makes both of those. He's got 15 points, 25-22. Taze Valley approaching three minutes to go here, second quarter. Johnson out top. Beats it over to Zoni. He'll go to the basket, pushes button up, and no good, but a foul on Taze Valley. 
to get that one on Landry Pallotta. That's his second. Two shots coming up for Shane Dazzoni. As he makes the first one, he's got three points. Dazzoni, a 6'5", junior guard. And he makes both of those. Four points for Dazzoni and a one-point lead now for Chase Valley Christian. Davis over on the far side, gives it over to Davey Jones. He'll back up against Brakefield. Maxing down into the paint, goes up in the end to the basket and scores it for Davey Jones. Nice strong move by Jones. He's got 17 points. And the lead back to three for Tays Valley. Two and a half minutes to go, opening half. Brakefield guarded by Jones. Works it over on the right wing, over to Johnson. He'll pull the trigger on a long three, count it for Makai Johnson. The freshman from Huntington, West Virginia. Buries that one from distance. And we're all tied up. And now a travel called on Davy Jones, turnover two. On Jones, that's their fourth turnover of the half, 2 of 4 to go. Gives the ball back to the Irish of Huntington Prep. Dizzoni flips it over to Brakefield. Now Johnson, guarded by Brown. Johnson thought about it again, gives it into the corner to Dizzoni. He'll penetrate baseline, goes in, and he is fouled. As he attacks the basket, he'll go back to the line to shoot two. And they get that foul on Pallotta. That's going to be his third. So Dizzoni at the line to shoot two. He's two for two from the foul line tonight. And he makes that one. Five points for Dizzoni, the 6'5 junior. And he makes both of those. 4-4 from the foul line tonight. Six points for Dizzoni. And a two-point lead for Huntington Prep. Brandon Brown out top. They swing it over to Deganis into the corner. Davy Jones, pump fakes, goes baseline. And now we've got a whistle and a blocking foul on Jamin Brakefield. As he tried to cut off Davy Jones to the basket. That's his first. He found number seven. And I believe this is a one and one for Jones. He is four of four from the foul line tonight. He makes that one. 18 points here in the first half so far for Jones. Came in averaging 25 points a contest. Second shot up for Jones, and he buries that one. He is perfect from the foul line. He's got 19. And we're all tied up once again. 29-29. 90 seconds to go here in the opening half inside the Walker Convocation Center on the campus of West Virginia State University. Zoni works his way down in the paint, feeds it over to Cottrell. His layup no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. And he is fouled. They get the foul on Josiah Davis. That's his second. And Cottrell at the line to try to complete the three-point play, and he does. He's got 14 points. 32-29. Huntington Prep over Taze Valley. 113 to go here in the first half. And a man defense for the Irish. Brown. And they say he picked up his pivot foot. Third turnover this quarter. Ortez Valley gives the ball back to Huntington Prep with 103 to go here. Huntington Prep with a three-point advantage. Almost a steal there by Jones. They feed it down inside and a whistle and a foul. And this one will go against Brandon Brown of Chase Valley. That's his first. 
Team foul number nine on Taze Valley. Two shots coming up for Cottrell. Cottrell two of three from the foul line tonight. He's got 14 points and make it 15. As Leo Lynn checks back into the lineup for Taze Valley. Second shot on the way for Cottrell, and he buries that one as well. 16 points now for the WVU commit, Isaiah Cottrell. Five-point lead, Brandon Brown. Works it over on the right side to give it over to Davey Jones. Jones goes down inside, ball stripped away by Dezoni. Here comes Dezoni. All the way to the basket, layup with the left hand is good. <laughs> Eight points for Dezoni. A seven point advantage now for Taze Valley. We approach 10 seconds here in the first half to look for the last shot. And now an illegal screen on Leo Lynn of Taze Valley. That's his first. It'll be Huntington prep ball with 7.8 seconds to go. Makai Johnson will trigger it in to Dezoni into the front court. Works it down inside, shot up short, gets his own rebound, kicks it out. Breakfield, he'll not get the shot off. And we come to the end of the first half here inside the Walker Convocation Center. Huntington prep leads Tays Valley Christian prep 36 to 29. We'll take a quick break. And we'll be back with some halftime stats. You're watching The War of I-64, presented by United Bank. When it comes to uncertain financial times, United Bank has a very unique perspective. Seasons may change, but United Bank is always a constant, providing you safety, security, and sound decision-making. That's the reason we've been in business since 1839. Safe, sound, secure. It's the hallmark of our success. United Bank, at your service. Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship partner for comprehensive physical therapy and sports rehabilitation services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier. With extended hours and walk-in services available, Generations Physical Therapy, multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Coach Bob Huggins here at your local Little General store. As I travel this great state, it's nice to know that almost anywhere I go, there's a local Little General nearby. So the next time you're on the road, look for the Little General sign and tell them Hugs sent you. When your special day requires a dash of loyalty, a pinch of magic, a splash of love, and a heaping cup of fun, there's only one place that can provide all the warm hugs and more. Putnam Princess Parties. Whether you want to host an intimate party in our very own fairy garden room or have crafts and games brought to your front doorstep, our real life fairy tale characters are there because every little one deserves a dream come true. At Kingmaker Marketing, there's one key phrase we hear all the time. I know what my business needs, I just don't have time to do it. We're a small business too, so we get it. Whether your business is big or small, we want to work with you to make it a success. So if you need web and graphic design, social media and videography, or any other creative marketing or guidance as to what your next step should be on the road to success, we can give you the royal touch. Taze Valley Christian School. Taze Valley Christian School is all about relationships with Jesus and with one another. Preparing students to become leaders in influencing their world for Christ. Excellence in a vibrant Christian community. Apply today. Taze Valley Christian School. TVCS is accredited by ACSI and the West Virginia Department of Education. Welcome back inside the Walker Convocation Center. 
here on the campus of West Virginia State University. Jack Withrow here on video productions for tonight's The War of I-64 presented by United Bank. And I have time score. Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian Prep by a score of 36-29. Taze Valley Christian led 21-13 after the first quarter. But then Huntington Prep on the back of Isaiah Cott Cottrell outscored Taze Valley 23 to eight in that second quarter. And here we are at the break, 36-29. And looking at halftime stats and scoring, Isaiah Cottrell, the 6'10 senior forward, has 16 points to lead the Irish here at the half. He is four or five from the foul line. Eight points coming from Shane Dezoni. There's only 4-4 from the foul line. Seven coming from Jamin Brakefield. Brakefield just 0-1 from the free throw line. Three points by Makai Johnson, the freshman coming off the bench there in the second quarter with the bucket behind the arc. And then two points from Cindy Ndaye, the 6'11 senior forward. A.J. Hogard spent much of a first half on the bench with three fouls, he was scoreless. Cortez Valley leading the way. 6'6 junior wing player Davy Jones has 19 points at the half. He is 6 of 6 from the foul line. Four points coming from Jerome Bea, four from Josiah Davis, and two points coming from Brandon Brown. Running to prep here at halftime. I'm unofficially outscoring Taze Valley 17 to 8. Turnovers. Taze Valley with six turnovers. Huntington Prep with five. And again, Davy Jones leading all scores with 19 points, followed by the Irish's Isaiah Cottrell. We'll take another quick break. Again, you're watching the War of I-64 presented by United Bank right here on Video Productions. When it comes to uncertain financial times, United Bank has a very unique perspective. Seasons may change, but United Bank is always a constant, providing you safety, security, and sound decision making. That's the reason we've been in business since 1839. Safe, sound, secure. It's the hallmark of our success. United Bank, at your service. Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship Partner for Comprehensive Physical Therapy and Sports Rehabilitation Services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier. With extended hours and walk-in services available, Generations Physical Therapy, multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Coach Bob Huggins here at your local Little General store. As I travel this great state, it's nice to know that almost anywhere I go, there's a local Little General nearby. So the next time you're on the road, look for the Little General sign and tell them Hugs sent you. When your special day requires a dash of loyalty, a pinch of magic, a splash of love, and a heaping cup of fun, there's only one place that can provide all the warm hugs and more, Putnam Princess Parties. Whether you want to host an intimate party in our very own fairy garden room, or have crafts and games brought to your front doorstep, our real life fairy tale characters are there because every little one deserves a dream come true. At Kingmaker Marketing, there's one key phrase we hear all the time. I know what my business needs, I just don't have time to do it. We're a small business too, so we get it. Whether your business is big or small, we want to work with you to make it a success. So if you need web and graphic design, social media and videography, or any other creative marketing or guidance as to what your next step should be on the road to success, we can give you the royal touch. Taze Valley Christian School. Taze Valley Christian School is all about relationships with Jesus and with one another. Preparing students to become leaders in influencing their world for Christ. 
excellence in a vibrant Christian community. Apply today. Tays Valley Christian School. TVCS is accredited by ACSI North Central and the West Virginia Department of Education. Welcome back inside the Walker Convocation Center here on the campus of West Virginia State University. Huntington Prep leading Tays Valley Christian Prep here at half, 36-29. I'd like to thank the, thank the folks at United Bank for tonight's sponsor. At United Bank, banking means more than financial solution. It means rallying around the causes that are important to our customers, employees, and communities. Why we have grown in size and presence, we have never forgotten our roots. By giving back to our local communities and funding business development, we help fuel econ ec economic growth. Our success is your success because to us, this is home. United Bank, West Virginia's bank, proud to support Huntington Prep Basketball and Tays Valley Christian Basketball, member FDIC. As we get set to start the second half, both teams back out on the court. Great crowd on hand here at West Virginia State University. And we've had a good one so far as Taze, or I'm sorry, Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian. 36-29. Taze Valley taking a 21-13 lead after one. But again, Huntington Prep coming back and outscoring Taze Valley 23-8 in that second quarter. Putting things off, it'll be the Irish with the possession. A.J. Hogard back out there. Vinny and Jaya. Breakfield. Cottrell. And Shane Dezoni. Days Valley, the original starting five. They hand it off to Breakfield. He'll go down in there and one hand jam by Breakfield. Gives him nine points. And a nine-point advantage now for Huntington Prep. Davis. Works it down in the paint. He'll push one up amongst the trees there. Leo Lynn gets the rebound, keeps the possession. Davis wide open three from the right wing. Count it for Josiah Davis. And a quick 30-second timeout. Taken by Tays Valley Christian. We'll stay right here with 7.21 to go here in the third quarter. And Davis went down inside. Not much going on with the much taller Huntington Prep defenders. Leo Lynn able to come up with the rebound for Tays Valley, and they find Josiah Davis wide open for the three over on the right wing. Take a look at this last play and wide open, and Davis knocks it down. He's got seven points on the evening. A six-point lead for the Irish. Man-to-man -man defense for Taze Valley. Mazzoni picks up his dribble. Feeds it over to Cottrell. Cottrell going against Bea. Kicks it all the way back out to Hogarth. And Michigan State commit. Backs it back out into the corner to Breakfield. Now he'll get it back. Six seconds on the shot clock. Hogarth's three is good. His first field goal of the evening. 
Pushes the lead back to nine for Huntington Prep. Davey Jones, pump fake, goes down inside, all the way to the basket, scores it for Jones. He's got 21. Quickly down the other side, and an interception there for Bea. Turnover on Huntington Prep. Jones. And ball slapped out of bounds. And a whistle and a foul on Huntington Prep. And they get that one on. And Daye, that's his second. Two shots coming up for Davy Jones. He was six of six from the foul line in that first half. Nope, they say no two shots, I'm sorry. It'll be Tays Valley ball. They get it in to Jones here, near side corner. He'll go baseline once again. Feeds it out, into the corner, Davis. Works his way down inside, out to Brown, near side, and now we've got a three second violation on Tays Valley. Man. You don't see that too often in this uh, level. Turnover gives it back to Huntington Prep, and now we've got a travel call on A.J. Hogard. As he picked up his dribble, went to throw it, and he was trying to throw it to, wasn't looking at him, so he shuffled his feet. Brown, Leo Lynn into the corner, far side, out of bounds, and they say it was off of Davy Jones, a sloppy play here between the both teams, starting things out in the second half. Luke DeGanis checks back in for the Lions. Leo Lynn will take a seat over on the bench. 5.56 to go third period. 41-34, Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian. Brakefield's three straight away, air ball. And they say it was tipped. It'll stay with Huntington Prep. Jerome Bea got a hand on that one. Great field, back to Hogart over on that far side. He'll pull up for a three, that one too strong, into the hands of Jerome Bea. Davis. Looking to get it to Jones over on that far side, going against Hogart. Spin move, baseline spins back around, shot rejected by Indaya. Quickly down the other side, ball's tipped around. And controlled by Taze Valley. Here comes Josiah Davis. And that'll be back tipped. Feeds it in to Jones, and he is fouled underneath. And that's going to be against Sinny Ndaye. That's his third. Two shots for Jones, and that one rolls in and out. And that last replay on that three by Brakefield. Jones, second shot, he makes one of two. 22 points for Jones. Six point lead, Huntington Prep, 5.08 to go, third period. Here on the campus of West Virginia State University. Great event here as they have filled up this arena. And Brakefield loses it out of bounds. Turnover back to Taze Valley. That's the fourth turnover this quarter for Huntington Prep. Davy Jones gets the handoff, guarded by Dezoni. Now Brandon Brown works his way down in the paint. Feeds it down inside to Bea. He'll go around left hand. That one airballed. Rebound cleared out by Huntington Prep. Right side to Zoni. Back out top, Brakefield. He'll launch a three off the iron. No good. Rebound by Deganis. Here comes Taze Valley down the other side. They'll feed it down into Brown. Layup is good. Nice little lob by Davis. And Brown. A little too far out to hammer that one down, but he'll connect with the layup. 
Baseline jumper is good by Isaiah Cottrell. 18 points now for Cottrell. And Prep holding on to a six point lead over Taze Valley. Just under the midway point. Third quarter action. Jones goes down inside, shot up no good, but he is fouled by Cottrell. That's Isaiah Cottrell's first, team foul number three on the Irish. Jones back to the line to shoot two. And that one touches about every side of the rim. If we take a look at the replay. And the lob to Brandon Brown in the finish. Second shot up for Jones. He connects on both of them. 24 points for Jones. Four-point advantage, Huntington Prep. Hogard back out to Brakefield. Looks at a run the right side, goes all the way down inside and layup no good, but he draws contact. And a whistle and a foul on Jerome Bea. That's his third. Two shots coming up for Jamin Brakefield. He was 0 of 1 from the foul line in that first half, and now he's 0 for 2. Brakefield with nine points. For the Lions, Landry Pilata checks back into the lineup. They will take a seat over on the bench. Second shot, and that one rolls off no good. Three and a half minutes to go, third period. Josiah Davis. Tried to get it over to Pilata. Now a scramble on the floor. And a held ball. Possession error stays with Taze Valley. And now a foul has been called. I'm not sure. They called a foul on Landry Pilata. I'm not sure how you call a foul in that melee, but one was called. Of course, they've got a better angle than I do. So the fourth foul has been called on Landry Pilata. 3.24 to go, third period action. 43-39, Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian. Hogarth, and a man defense. He's picked up by Davy Jones. Johnson, they lob it down inside to Brakefield. His shot up off the glass and score it for Jamin Brakefield. He's got 11. Jones on the far side. Works his way down inside. Turnaround shot. No good. Here comes Hogarth. Back tip. Stolen. Quickly down the other side. Ball tipped away right into the hands of Davy Jones. He'll work his way through to two defenders, but a whistle and a foul on Huntington Prep. They get that one on Cottrell. That's his second. Team foul number four on the Irish. Line line. Jerome, Jerome Bayer back into the lineup for Taze Valley. Davis will trigger it in along the baseline. Beats it into Brown. Picked up by Johnson. Jones. Deganus here near side. Back out. Davis thought about the three. Works it over to Bea. Inside Brown. Layup good. Nice look by Bea. Finding the cutting, Brandon Brown. Brown with six points. Quickly down the other side, shot up, and they get it to go down for DeZone. He's got ten points. We approach the two-minute mark here in the third quarter. Six-point advantage for Huntington Prep, Davis. Down inside, ball is tipped away. It'll stay with Taze Valley. 
Checking back into the lineup for Huntington Prep, Zach Loveday. Seven foot one center from Gallipolis, Ohio. Davis gets it in to Jones over in the far corner. He'll launch a three off the iron, no good. Rebound cleared out by Huntington Prep. Quickly down the other side, Hogarth. Goes down inside, layup is good. High points for Hogarth. An eight point lead now, 49-41 for Huntington Prep. Brandon Brown picked up by Cottrell. Goes down inside, step through, layup with the left hand, could not get it to go down. Quickly down the other side. Looked like Brakefield walked, but he'll lay it up with the right hand. 13 points for Brakefield and a 10 point advantage for Huntington Prep, their largest lead of the ball game. Davis, spin move. Gets it swiped out of his hands. Now Jones, his three from the corner. That one's short. Quickly, here comes Huntington Prep. Hogard feeds it over to Brakefield. His layup with the finger roll is good. 15 points now for Brakefield and a 12 point advantage for Huntington Prep with 30 seconds to go. Davis keeps his dribble out here at midcourt. He'll look for the last shot here in the third period. Feeds it to Jones. Jones, spin move in the paint, layup, no good. Gets his own rebound and puts it back up and in. And the heave at the buzzer is no good. We come to the end of the third quarter here inside the Walker Convocation Center. Huntington Prep leads by 10, 53 to 43 over Chase Valley Christian. You're watching the war of I-64 presented by United Bank. When it comes to uncertain financial times, United Bank has a very unique perspective. Seasons may change, but United Bank is always a constant, providing you safety, security, and sound decision making. That's the reason we've been in business since 1839. Safe, sound, secure. It's the hallmark of our success. United Bank, at your service. Welcome back inside the Walker Convocation Center here on the campus of West Virginia State University as Huntington Prep with a 10-point advantage over Taze Valley Christian Prep, 53-43. Leading the way for the Irish, 18 points from Isaiah Cottrell, 15 points coming from Jamin Brakefield, and 10 points from Shane Dizzoni. For Taze Valley Christian, 26 points for Davy Jones. Seven points coming from Josiah Davis and six points from Brandon Brown. It'll be Taze Valley Christian's ball to start things out here in the final quarter. Uh, the war of I-64 looked to gain us back out there for Taze Valley. Davey Jones, he'll pull up right elbow. That one's short. Rebound cleared out by Bea. He'll hold it. Got to get it out of there. Gets it to, to gain us. His straightaway three. That one off the side of the iron. Out of bounds over to Huntington Prep. Leo Lynn checks back in for Taze Valley. Both these teams coming in tonight on a five-game winning streak. Get down to the end of the regular season. Daye, ball is tipped away from, and Davis lays it up on the other end. So a steal and a convert on the other end for Josiah Davis. He's got nine points. Ogard out top. Set most of the half with three fouls. They feed it down into Cottrell and a mismatch. 
Going up against the 6-4, Leo Lynn. The trail easily lays it up and in. He's got 20 points. 6.55 to go, fourth quarter. Brown, pump fake. He'll pull up long two. That one well short. And out of bounds and over to Huntington Prep. The officials got together. Kirk McCown, Steve Robinson. Doing a good job tonight along with Kent Wilkinson. A.J. Hogard, the Michigan State commit, walks it across the timeline, 6.36 to go here in the fourth quarter. Cottrell, or to the on the right side to Brakefield, and he'll flush it home with the right hand. Jamin Brakefield with 17 points now. Davis into the corner, Brandon Brown, his three off the mark, no good, tipped around, controlled by Jones. Jones goes down inside with the left hand, that one off the back of the iron, no good, gets his own rebound. Feeds it out to Davis. He'll pull the trigger on the three. That one off the mark. Quickly down the other side to Zoni. He goes down inside layup. No good. It's out of bounds and a whistle and a foul on Taze Valley Christian. Foul on Christian. His second. He's third. They get the foul on DeGanis. That's his second team foul number three and a timeout called. That's a full timeout. 5.58 to go in the ball game. 57-45 Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian Prep. You're watching the war of I-64 presented by United Bank. We wake up each morning eager to share our passion. We work all day with purpose to build inspired relationships with our guests, our crew, and our neighbors. We're filled with pride at the end of the day, knowing that we've made a difference. Steak Escape Sandwich Grill. Five fifty-eight to go here in the fourth quarter. 57-45, Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian Prep. A great crowd on hand here inside the Walker Convocation Center on the campus of West Virginia State University. And the administration here led by Athletic Director Nate Burton and Assistant Athletic Director Kerry Blackwell do a wonderful job of hosting high school events throughout the year. And they have done another wonderful job tonight. Layup no good by Cottrell. Davy Jones into the front court, feeds it over to Brown. Now Davis in a traits baseline, gets cut off by Cottrell. Keeps his dribble. Now balls tipped away. Turnover. Zoni, he loses it out of bounds and gives it right back to Chase Valley. 5.31 to go in the contest. Davis gets a screen out top. Now works his way all the way down and kicks it out to Brown. Three from the far side. Count it for Brandon Brown. Nine points for the junior from Bristol, Tennessee. Back to a Single-digit lead for Huntington Prep. Hogard over on the right side. Penetrate, spin move. Shot up, no good, but a whistle and a foul on Taze Valley. And they're going to get that one against Landry Pilata. And that is his fifth. So Pilata will foul out tonight. Jerome Bea checks back into the lineup. And at the line for two is A.J. Hogard. Hogarth with five points, held scoreless in the first half, but set most of the time with three fouls, including a technical foul as he misses the first one there. Second shot up and good. One of two, and he's got six. Exactly five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Huntington Prep leading by 10. Davis penetrates all the way to the basket. 
Well, this shot is no good, but a whistle and a foul on Huntington Prep. And they get that one on Zach Loveday. That's his second. Loveday, the Baylor commit. Scoreless tonight. As they get the moisture off the floor. Again, a wonderful facility here at West Virginia State University. Davis at the line to shoot two. And that one too strong off the backboard. Leo Lynn checks back in, Fortes Valley. Davis, 6'2", sophomore with nine points. That one rims in and out, no good. He missed both of them. 4.48 to go in the ball game. Ten-point advantage, and now a 1-3-1 zone for Taze Valley. And a timeout called by head coach of the Irish, Arkell Bruce. He wants to talk about it. A 30-second timeout will stay right here. Basketball fans love the remarkable. At United Bank, so do we. With United Rewards checking, you get cash back on purchases made at your favorite selected retailers. Movie and theme park ticket discounts and much more. Now that that's remarkable. Open your new United Rewards checking account today. Visit a United Bank office or open online today at www.bankwithunited.com. United Bank, West Virginia's bank, proud to support Huntington Prep and Taze Valley Christian. $50 to open reward activation required member FDIC. 441 to go in the ball game, 58-48. Huntington Prep over top of Taze Valley Christian. Ogard out top. That looks like they switched to a 2-3 zone for Taze Valley. They feed it in. Ball's knocked away by Josiah Davis. A steal by Davis. Quickly down the other side, Brandon Brown lays it up and in. Brown with 11 points for Taze Valley. Back to an eight-point lead for Huntington Prep. Zoni near side, Hogarth. Back into that 1-3-1 zone now for Taze Valley. They kick it here near side, Hogarth puts it on the floor, goes down inside, pushes one up with the right hand, no good. Rebound to Bea. And ball is stripped away and out of bounds. It'll stay with Huntington Prep. Bea just a sophomore. He's got to learn to get rid of that ball as soon as possible. 4.02 to go in the ball game. 58-50. Irish leading the Lions. Davis quickly into the front court. It's down inside. Gives it over to Brown near side. Gets cut off. Back out to Jones. Guarded closely by Shane Dezoni. Jones works it down inside. Shot rejected out of bounds. It'll stay with Taze Valley. And Zach Loveday using that seven foot one frame rejected that one out of bounds. He'll check out. And the freshman, Makai Johnson, checks back in. Johnson, a six foot four freshman. And now they've got Bea. He's got to hurry up and must have had blood on his shorts as he rushes back to the locker room. And James Lee, a teammate, rushed back there with him. They switched shorts is what they've done. So Bea back out on the court. It'll be Taze Valley ball. They feed it into Jones. Back out top. They swing it here near side to Leo Lynn. Now Davis with it. Josiah Davis, Leo Lynn, straightaway three off the back of the air, no good. Rebound cleared out by Huntington Prep. 3.28 to go, fourth quarter action. Prep leading by eight points over Taze Valley Christian. Makai Johnson three is good from the far corner. That's his second three of the evening. He's got six points. 11-point 
lead. Three on the way this side, and Josiah Davis answers. And a timeout taken by Taze Valley Christian. We'll take a timeout as well. 3.07 to go here in the fourth quarter, 61-53. Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian. special day requires a dash of loyalty, a pinch of magic, a splash of love, and a heaping cup of fun, there's only one place that can provide all the warm hugs and more, Putnam Princess Parties. Whether you want to host an intimate party in our very own fairy garden room, or have crafts and games brought to your front doorstep, our real life fairy tale characters are there because every little one deserves a dream come true. Sixty-one fifty-three, Huntington Prep leading Taze Valley Christian. Three oh seven to go, fourth quarter. Here inside the Walker Convocation Center on the campus of West Virginia State University. Thanks for watching tonight on Video Productions. AJ Hogard once again, we're walking across. Now he'll float it across the timeline to the zoning near side. Feeds it down inside to Breakfield and he'll hammer it home for Jamin Breakfield. 19 points for Breakfield. Josiah Davis works it all the way down inside, high off the glass over top of Cottrell and Stort. For Josiah Davis, he's got 14 points, 63-55, and a steal by Brandon Brown. Here comes Brown. He goes down inside. His layup, no good, but a whistle and a foul. And they'll get this one on Shane Dezoni. So Brandon Brown tips it away at midcourt. And he was looking to hammer it down himself, but Dezoni fouls him. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Brown with 11 points on the evening, and that one rims in and out no good. 63% free throw shooter. Second shot up, and he makes one of two. He's got 12 points. 63-56, to go. Zone defense again for Taze Valley. Zoni kicks it in, ball is tapped away, and here comes Taze Valley once again. They feed it over, and that one slapped away, but right into the hands of Davy Jones as Josiah Davis collects it up. They get it down inside. Back out to Brown, he'll heave up a three. That one off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Josiah Davis into Bea. Back out to Brown, his three from the other side. That one no good. And finally cleared out by Huntington Prep. Several looks at the rim for Taze Valley. And now almost another steal by Brown. 1.43 to go. 1-3-1 zone for the Lions. Into the corner, Johnson, he'll push up a three, in and out, no good. Rebound by Brown. Quickly, Josiah Davis. Into the front court, goes all the way to the basket, layup is good for Davis. He's got 16 points and a timeout called by head coach Ryan Arrowood with 1.25 to go here in the fourth quarter. His team down, 63 to 58. We'll take a quick break. You're watching The War of I-64, presented by United Bank. Get more bank for your business with United Bank. Whether you'd like to start a business, purchase commercial real estate, or equipment, United Bank can help. We support business development throughout our great state, making business and consumer loans and fueling opportunities. Small business owners' dreams come true, and larger corporations grow. What can we do for your business? United Bank, West Virginia's bank. Proud to be united with the Mountaineers. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. One twenty-five to go here in the fourth quarter, and Taze Valley's got the lead down to five, 63 to 58. And they have come out with a 1-3-1 zone. A couple of steals and finishes on the other end for the Lions. 
Kings Valley out of timeouts now. 125 to go. Kai Johnson inbound into to A.J. Hogarth. He'll walk it slowly up the court. As that zone defense will pick up half court into the corner. Back out to Hogarth with 114 to go. Zoni thought about it. Now he'll pull up from the baseline. And follow up no good. And here comes Taze Valley. Ball's tipped away right in the hands of Bea. Back over to Josiah Davis. His layup is good. 18 points for Davis. And the lead cut down to three. 53 seconds to go. Three-quarter pressure into the front court. Over to Dezzoni on the far side. They switch it back here near side. 1-3-1 one, one zone for the Lions. Davy Jones at 6-6 six, six frame. Out at the top of the zone. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Into the corner. Johnson gives it over to Brakefield. Feeds it down inside to Cottrell. His shot up and in for Isaiah Cottrell. 22 points for Cottrell. Josiah Davis quickly into the front court far side. Feeds it out to Jones. He'll heave up a long three. That one's short. And cleared out by Hogard and a wide open to Zoni down on the other side. He'll flush it home. 12 points for DeZoni. And Brown at the buzzer in and out no good. And that's a final here inside the Walker Convocation Center. Huntington Prep gets a seven point victory, 67 to 60 over the Lions of Taze Valley Christian Prep. We'll break away. We'll come back in a bit with the final stats. You're watching The War of I-64 presented by United Bank right here on Video Productions. When it comes to uncertain financial times, United Bank has a very unique perspective. Seasons may change, but United Bank is always a constant, providing you safety, security, and sound decision making. That's the reason we've been in business since 1839. Safe, sound, secure. It's the hallmark of our success. United Bank, at your service. Generations Physical Therapy is a Tri-States Championship Partner for Comprehensive Physical Therapy and Sports Rehabilitation Services. Access to physical therapy has never been easier, with extended hours and walk-in services available. Generations Physical Therapy, multiple services, multiple locations, experience you can trust. Coach Bob Huggins here at your local Little General store. As I travel this great state, it's nice to know that almost anywhere I go, there's a local Little General nearby. So the next time you're on the road, look for the Little General sign and tell them Hugs sent you. When your special day requires a dash of loyalty, a pinch of magic, a splash of love, and a heaping cup of fun, there's only one place that can provide all the warm hugs and more, Putnam Princess Parties. Whether you want to host an intimate party in our very own fairy garden room, or have crafts and games brought to your front doorstep, our real life fairy tale characters are there because every little one deserves a dream come true. At Kingmaker Marketing, there's one key phrase we hear all the time. I know what my business needs, I just don't have time to do it. We're a small business too, so we get it. Whether your business is big or small, we want to work with you to make it a success. So if you need web and graphic design, social media and videography, or any other creative marketing or guidance as to what your next step should be on the road to success, we can give you the royal touch. Taze Valley Christian School. Taze Valley Christian School is all about relationships with Jesus and with one another. Preparing students to become leaders in influencing their world for Christ. Excellence in a vibrant Christian community. Apply today. Taze Valley Christian School. TVCS is accredited by ACSI North Central and the West Virginia Department of Education. Welcome back inside the Walker Convocation Center. Final score, Huntington Prep gets the 67-60 victory 
over Taze Valley Christian Prep tonight. Had a good one here tonight. As we take a look at the final scoring for Huntington Prep leading the way. Senior Isaiah Cottrell with 22 points on the evening. He was 4 or 5 from the foul line. 19 points coming from Jamin Brakefield. Brakefield 0 of 3 from the foul line tonight. 12 points from Shane Dezoni. Dezoni 4 or 4 from the foul line tonight for the Irish. 6 points coming from A.J. Hogard. Again, Hogard spent much of the time on, in the first half on the bench with three fouls. He finishes with six points on the evening. Six points coming from freshman Makai Johnson. He came off the bench, hit a couple of threes, and two points coming from Sinny Ndaye. Ndaye finished with two points, the 6'11 senior forward. From the foul line for Huntington Prep, 9 of 14 on the evening. For Taze Valley, leading the way, a game high, 26 points tonight for the 6'6 junior wing player, Davey Jones. Jones, 9 of 10 from the foul line. And again, finishes with a game high, 26 points, and he was very impressive on the evening. 18 points from Josiah Davis, the 6'2 sophomore. 12 points coming from the 6'2 junior guard from Bristol, Tennessee, Brandon Brown. And four points from Jerome Bea, the 6'9 sophomore for Taze Valley. Again, Taze Valley, no seniors on this team. And they'll be back next year with a very, very good team. They had a great regular season. They'll finish the regular season up at 19 and 9. Huntington Prep will finish up their regular season at 22 and 9 with the victory tonight. So that'll do it again. We want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. And a special thanks to the West Virginia State University administration and the leadership of the athletic director, Nate Burton, and wonderful hospitality that uh, they have shown the video productions crew here tonight in, this I, in the War of I-64, again presented by United Bank. So that'll do it. Again, we want to thank... Our cameraman tonight, Parker Withrow, and on the controls, our producer, Mr. Garrett Lester. My name is Jack Withrow. The final score, once again, Huntington Prep, 67. Taze Valley Christian Prep, 60. Good night.